My next guest is hoping to beat out Mehmet Oz and Kathy Barnett for the Republican nomination. He joins me right now. Pennsylvania Senate candidate, former Bridgewater CEO David McCormick. David, good morning to you. Thanks very much for being here. Uh, hey, good your morning, reaction Maria. to Thanks this tight race. Why, why is it so tight? And what do you make of Kathy Barnett? Well, I think what's happening is Pennsylvanians are focused on this and they're realizing this is probably the most important race of their lifetimes in terms of their votes in Pennsylvania. And they're angry. They're angry about record inflation that's killing working families and hurting elders on fixed income and small businesses. They're, they're distraught that the energy industry is being attacked here in Pennsylvania and that's driving up fuel prices. And the open borders of Joe Biden are creating a fentanyl crisis right here in Pennsylvania, the wokeness they see in, in schools and, and in business. So they are angry and they're worried that their country's slipping away and they see this race is so important to, to blocking the terrible left agenda that Joe Biden and, the, and uh, Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer are leading in Washington. And they see this as a race which is gonna determine yep. whether there's a Senate conservative, America first conservative leading in the Senate and whether the Senate will be led by Republicans and Chuck Schumer packs his bags and goes back to New York. Yeah, well, that's a great point because Joe Biden's approval ratings continue uh, in the tanks. Take a look at these most recent numbers where we have the majority of Americans unhappy with Joe Biden and only 38 percent of the people polled say that they support President Biden. You also have a full three quarters of percent of people who voted here say that the country is on the wrong track. What does that tell you in terms of independence? Are you expecting independence? to come out and vote Republican come November? I think we're going to have a, a big turnout. And right now, what the voters are focused on in the primary is, first and foremost, who is the, who is the candidate that shares my conservative values and is going to fight for those in Washington? The second question is, who can win this general election? The stakes are so high because it determines not only Pennsylvania, but the direction of the country. And then three, who can show up on day one with the experiences to deal with the crisis we're in, inflation, uh, Ukraine, China, uh, the open borders. And so what I'm feeling on the campaign trail is a lot of momentum as people focus on those issues and see me as someone who's been battle tested, someone who's served in combat, someone who went to West Point, yep. went to Iraq, also someone who's created jobs right here in Pennsylvania. And that's the conversation okay. that voters are having. So we'll take a break. On the other side of this break, I want to ask you about the power of an endorsement. You have former Secretary of State Mike Pompeo and Senator Ted Cruz in your corner. But President Trump is backing Mehmet Oz and has a 55-0 winning streak. Uh, we will talk about that when we come right back. Stay with us. Welcome back. We're back with Pennsylvania Senate candidate and former Bridgewater CEO David McCormick. David, you saw this week the Democrats are trying to take down the MAGA phrase. They want to make that a dirty word, ultra MAGA. Do you consider yourself a candidate who wants to make America great again? I know you did not get the president's endorsement. He went with Mehmet Oz. But what about what you're fighting for? Yeah, I absolutely want to make America great again. And uh, someone asked me the other day uh, whether I was America first. And I said, I've been America first my whole life. From the very first day, I volunteered to go to West Point and serve our great country. So absolutely, I'll be someone that stands tall and fights for America first policies. And I think President Trump did a great job in bringing that agenda and dealing with the millions of forgotten people across Pennsylvania and our country. And that agenda is something that I'll fight for. Uh, Pro-growth economic policies, fair trade, energy dominance, secure borders. These are the foundational building blocks of a great America. And, uh, and under Joe Biden, uh, we are very quickly deteriorating. And that American dream and that great America we all love is slipping away. Talk about foreign policy. You say you're battle tested. You've uh, been in the military. You've gone to Iraq. You have the endorsement of former Secretary of State Mike Pompeo. How severe are the issues and what do you want to do about the aggression coming out of China and the Communist Party? Well, listen, I think uh, I think under the Biden administration, we've really shown a weak hand to the world. And I think the the retreat from Afghanistan was absolutely disgraceful. I think the challenges and the war we have in Ukraine is a direct consequence of Afghanistan, but also the terrible energy policies of Joe Biden. And I'm someone who served in the 82nd Airborne Division under Ronald Reagan and believe that America plays a unique role in the world and we need to achieve peace through strength. 
And that's the way to mm. best promote American interests and American values here at home. And I'm proud to have the endorsement of Mike Pompeo and Ted Cruz and Mike Huckabee and Sarah Huckabee and Rick Santorum and Brandon Judd okay. from the, uh, the yep. Border Patrol because David, all of them so much. see me as a strong David, conservative we'll, who will fight for we'll America. Be watching. Thank you. Thank you. We'll Thank be watching you. Tuesday. David